Hello everybody. I have noticed since I've had this DXI uh, spectrum transmitter, I have noticed that the um, there seems to be a problem with the throttle stick calibration. Now, I thought I'd explain how this is done. It's quite simple really, because if you go into your monitor mode on your setup list, and have a look, you'll see the arrows. Don't look very good, do they? Alright, now just prove the point. I'll put that one to absolute zero on the marker point there. Okay, that one's okay. But the aileron and the elevator, uh, sorry, the aileron and the rudder are slightly out. Okay, if I move them, it doesn't go back to the central point, which tells me you're going to have a problem particularly with a helicopter if you're flying one. Now then, the way to do this is quite simple. You turn the transmitter off, okay, and then here on the back, your throttle hold switch, if I can see it there, you switch to number one. And make sure all the other switches are on zero. Okay, your gear, elevator, your flaps, ailerons, and your rudder are all on zero. Okay. Then what you do is the trim tabs here, push those two to the centre this way. So I can do that when I'm using the camera and switch on. And you'll get this screen come up. Now what this is telling you is the upper position, middle position and down position of the uh, control sticks on the throttle, aileron, elevator and rudder. Now these are the parameters that you're working with. All right. Now, you don't need to know about these figures, they're just for, um, in, in, to be honest with you, but I mean they're giving you the, uh, the numerical values of each position. Okay, now then the way to set this is what you do is your elevator switch, this one here, switch to on, number one. Okay, that will, this will set up the lowest position on the control sticks. And then you just go through a simple matter of all your positions in the shape of the square, and then make sure you bring that one back to zero, because that's where you want to set it. If you want it slightly lower than that, then this is time to do it. If you want to set it one position down, set it there before we kick in the memory okay yeah zero and then do the same this side that will set you all your lowest positions that we're dealing with now just make sure that one is absolutely zero okay switch off your elevator switch simple as that now then you draw a switch to program it switch it on and then switch it off. Okay, that's set your upper limits. Now then, to set your lower limits, your down position, what you want to do is go to your aileron switch, this one here, switch that one on, and then go through the same procedure again. Make sure it's tucked right into the square and make sure your position with the throttle stick is zero. Absolute zero. As close as you can get those two lines together. Okay, and then go through the same thing again. And that should fall gently into the same position. Okay, and then turn your aileron switch off. And that will then set everything as you've programmed it. Alright, then you turn your throttle switch oops, hit the camera right. throttle hold switch back off. All right. Then you'll see your screen's gone blank. Now I've got a backlight switch. Then the next thing is simply press your 
scroll once and you get three beeps. What you do then is switch the transmitter off, switch it back on again, and then go back to your uh, setup list. Back to your monitor, and there you are. Everything's absolutely dead center, but you've got to make sure that that one is in the center. That's a critical one, this one on the throttle, because the others are sprung loaded. Okay, and then all your trims will be dead center according to the um, arrows on the monitor. Okay. And there it is. Can't get better than that, can you? It's simple, really. And if you follow that very closely on the video, um, then you'll find that uh, when you do fly, everything is set as per your trims in the zero position. These four buttons here. Okay? And that's where they'll be in the center and the center again. But your throttle, obviously, you're going to have that on zero uh, for obvious reasons. Okay? I hope this helps you out. Any problems? Ask questions below. And this is only for the DX6i. I think probably the 7 or the 8 are probably the same. And there goes my phone first question. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.